Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Interlochen Public Library, here with my very special guest, Lorelai. Hi. Lorelai, can you tell everybody what we're going to do today? Today we're going to be doing an experiment based on Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you remember how that story goes? So Goldilocks is in the woods and she walks, she's walking in the woods and she finds... <gasps> Three bears? No. She finds a cottage. Cottage. <laughs> And inside, there is three bowls of porridge. The largest one for Papa Bear is too hot. The middle one for Mama Bear is too cold. And then the baby one, the one for Baby Bear, the smallest one, it's just right. So she eats all of the Baby Bear's food. She eats all of the bear's porridge? Yes. Did she ask permission? No. No. So she just broke into their house and ate their food? Yes. Alright, so we're clear. Okay, so does that make sense scientifically that the larger bowl would be too hot, the medium sized bowl would be too cold, but yet the smallest portion would be just right? Mm, I don't know. Because really, what is just right, right? Yeah. I don't really know. But I think the thing, the premise is that the larger would be too hot, medium would be too cold, baby ones would be. Just, Just right. right. <laughs> so, we put water, hot water in all three of these containers 15 minutes ago, and now we're going to take a read to see where we're at. Um, when we first measured it, it was at 175 Fahrenheit, which is under boiling. Lorelai, do you know what the boiling point of water is? The boiling point of water in Fahrenheit is 212, I think. 212. What is it in Celsius? Uh, 100. What's the freezing point? In Celsius is zero, and then Fahrenheit is 32. Very nice. All right, well, let's see what we got here, okay? So we're using candy thermometer. We're at about 125 for baby bear. Baby bear is at 125. That's a candy thermometer? It is. Yeah, you can use a candy. <laughs> I don't make candy. <laughs> but this is what it's used for. I'm shaking it. <laughs> I don't know if that actually does anything, but we'll try. Okay, so baby bear was 125. A mama bear is one. Oh, what's going on? It's over baby bear now. It's about it's warmer 130. Than baby bear. No, it's creeping up actually. It's it's getting there. Very slow, slowly. Very slowly creeping up too, but it's getting there. I'd say 130. 130. Yeah, I'd say 130. It's definitely over. Baby bears. Baby bears. Which means it isn't too cold. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it, it isn't shake, too cold. Shake it, shake it. It's, it's not. warmer. Yeah, it's warmer. Okay. Back down to 100 and let's see what Papa Bear is at. Papa Bear? Oh, it's going way faster. It's actually going really fast. It's actually like almost. Yeah, it's going way faster. It's going really fast. It's almost up to 150 actually. It's almost there. Yeah. Oh wait, it's still moving. No, it's dead. It's just under 150. There, you can kind of see that. Okay, so. Why would more be warmer than less? What do you think? Um, I think it's because uh, they're in the larger area, there's more molecules. In the larger amount of water, there's more molecules. And then in the smaller amount, there's less. Moving around in there? Moving around, so, that, so it takes a shorter amount of time for the molecules to slow down than these fast ones. Yep. So the more volume you have, the slower rate of cooling. Also, there is um, surface area to consider. Surface area. Ooh la la. What is that? So as you can see, these two jars actually have the same um, opening length or width, Let wide mouth. And then this little baby one has a smaller opening. So the larger the surface... Oh, they do. They do, yeah. You have to double check? Yeah. Okay, make sure I was being honest. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So the larger the surface, more heat can escape. Smaller the surface, 
So see. actually, the surface area in this case worked for baby bear's favor and baby bear's favor. But in the story, it says mama's mama bear's too cold. So what are some ideas of why mama's bear would be too cold? Um, why would mama's bear be too cold? Maybe she served herself first? Maybe she, yeah, maybe she served herself first so that, that it had more time. Maybe she was on a diet? We just assume that mama's bear, <laughs> mama bears would be a medium-sized serving. Maybe it's not. Maybe she had a super fancy bowl that was really wide and shallow, thus creating more surface area. More surface area. Maybe she, when she made the porridge, uh, the one serving that she served, so her serving, was the amount that she was the amount that she made, so that she had, so she had to make another serving for baby bear and papa bear. <laughs> so she had to wait a lot longer because she had to make it. That's true. Yeah, maybe she made up hers ahead of time. So this year's summer reading is all about imagining your story. So those are some different ways that we can rewrite Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now we have three containers. We're going to do another little experiment with molecules as Lorelei dumps in one drop. Go ahead. This is a hot, hot water. In my favorite color. In blue. Hot. Oh. Wow. Room temperature. Tepid. And then cold, frigid water. Since we put this, let's see we how put, we boiled this, right? Almost. No, I just, I just let the faucet run really, really. Oh, <laughs> uh, and then we let this sit while this was in the fridge. We didn't put this one in the fridge. We didn't have any ice cubes. But can you see how differently? So the hot water is spreading, spreading a lot faster. So and the hot water is dispersing really quickly. The cold water is pretty slow. Well, actually, yeah, the cold water is pretty slow, and then the room temperature is about in the middle. Yeah. From this angle, for us, it looks like this is spread out more, and this is more, like, tight. Well, this, it seems like this one, from our angle, it looks like this one is concentrated more on the bottom. Yeah, and this one and is, this one like is like kind of spreading. On the top, and then, like, all around. We gotta crouch down for this part. Yeah. These two are faster. Are definitely faster. First place, second place, last. And then this one. This one still a lot is on the bottom. So this also explains how molecules work. The faster that they're moving. It's like if you're biking and you have gears and you go on seven and you go faster, then when you're on like one, you go really slow. Good analogy. So this little bicycle, this is bicycle going, is going pretty faster. fast. This one is medium. Medium. And, and then now. Eh, oh wait, cold, no. This one yeah. is. This one is. The cold one's still struggling. The cold one's still struggling a little. This one's medium. Okay. It's just turning into blue water now. <laughs> and this one is pretty. It's, it's pretty much blue. Yeah. Wait, can I do that? Yeah, you may. Don't drink it. Yeah. Okay, well, Whoa, thank you for joining this. us for today's science experiment. We hope that you can uh, enjoy Goldilocks and Three Bears. And we have a book recommendation, May I Bring a Friend? It's about permission to bring a friend over instead of just barging in on people's houses. It's a good one. And don't steal anybody's food. And don't steal people's food. And then... Goldilocks Returns. This book is uh, Goldilocks Grows Up. She feels really bad about what she did, and she goes back and breaks in again, but this time to help fix up the bear, bear's house. This one's by Lisa Campbell Ernst, and this one is by Beatrice Schnick D. Regmeers. May I bring a friend? Until next time, we hope that everybody is happy, healthy, and reading. Bye! Bye.